Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to do a little video, um, we've come on a trip with the UK Pipe and Tobacco Club, well it's not really a trip, it's just a few of us, we've travelled over to um, my smoking shop, .co.uk, which is one of the biggest uh, online retailers of tobacco and pipes and cigars and what have you, and smoking paraphernalia. Um, so yeah, I've uh, driven on today, I've just finished work. And uh, we're going to have a look round and see uh, the new pipes and um, possibly have a, uh, I'll buy, buy some tobacco and possibly uh, speak to the owner Simon and um, and do a little video of the place. I'll definitely get video of the footage of inside and um, I'll show you what tobacco I buy after. So um, I'll, I'll spin the camera round so you can see the um, actual shop. It's a big shop. And it, uh, it looks very impressive. Oh yeah, I've had a shave as well. So I haven't been swapped for a younger model. I just uh, decided to have no beard for a while. But it'll grow back very soon because I can't just leave it like that. So yeah, I'll um, pick up the phone and um, spin it round and show you the outside of the shop. Nice big shop, lovely sign, um, yeah, so I'll go off.
Hello there. Um, this is now the Sunday night following the uh, Saturday afternoon trip around to um, Penwortham to mysmokingshop.co.uk. You should have just previously seen a video of the inside of the shop and uh, all the vast varieties of cigars, pipes and tobacco that they sell at mysmokingshop.co.uk. Um, Simon there, actually right now I'll just do the old um, housekeeping. I'm smoking um, Old Dark Fired McBurns and I haven't lit it yet but in my Bulldog which leather bound pipe which you know there's a company called Longchamp that make these leather pound pipes and they were the, the they were the original ones to make these pipes and uh, I got told about a bit of the history the other week and that's what made me want to buy a leather bound pipe and the history is that in the second world war when the briar was all being used for the war effort, all, all the industry was being used for the war effort in Europe, um, they only had very low quality briar that they were able to use. So what they used was the low quality briar and then they bound them in a leather, in a leather um, case around the outside to hide all the faults in the briar. Well, the briar is still fantastic to smoke, but they just wanted to hide them. But I think they look really elegant. And anyway, the, uh, all the GIs in, from America and all the um, European soldiers, they took to these pipes, and that's where they've um, kind of got from, got this shape from. This is a Donnell Old Briar. It's not a long champ. The long champs are more expensive and a bit more collectible. This is more of a generic one. But it's a bulldog, and I don't see many leather-bound pipes as a bulldog, so I, I really wanted to get it. So I'll, I'll just spark this up, get it going, and then uh, I'll have another chat with you. So yeah, that was the video walking around um, my smoking shop. I asked Simon, the owner, if I could just have a look around and uh, do a bit of filming, and he was happy enough to let me do it. So that's what you'll have just seen. Then afterwards we went across the road and there was a few good friends from the UK Pipe and Tobacco group, which is a Facebook group, and a, and a friendly, you know, a friendly pipe group. Tom Kirkback, talk, Talking Tommy was there, and various others from the um, Facebook group. And we had such a good laugh, you know, we all bought a bit of tobacco and what have you. And um, it was a good do. Simon gave us all... Um, five different snuffs to try and i'm not a big snuff user but um i do enjoy trying it from time to time so that was enjoyable we tried the snuff um so yeah i'm beardless and also i've had a haircut as well <laughs> so i look quite different than i did on the um well you know i didn't you know i didn't have the beard because i said i'd shaved it off anyway i'll hide my messy hair but yeah i said i'd shaved it off so but i'm going it back now and i've had an haircut because it was getting a bit wild so um I've, so that's just that. So Simon, at my smoking shop, has a lot to do with um, Ben Wade pipes and Hardcastle pipes. And they're two pipes that I'm really taken with at the moment. Um, I'll show you a couple. That's my, uh, you might have seen this on other videos, but that's my Zulu Hardcastle. That's a lovely pipe, really good smoker, classic English shape, lovely, lovely pipe. There's the one that I won at the pipe show, which is uh, the Harley Quinn. That's a Ben Wade with absolutely beautiful grain on that. Lovely. And then the other side's like a rustication. Yeah, and the, and the Einstein pipe that I have, that's also a Ben Wade pipe, and that's really light and really nice. As you can see, the grain on that is superb. You really cut right in. Yeah, so, um, he's quite a lot to do with that. Now, mysmokingshop.co.uk, they're unable to send tobacco to, um, 
America or other European countries because of the daft laws that have come in this country, which is all to do with um, the way that tax is paid on um, on pipe tobacco. So you can't send tobacco abroad, but he does sell uh, Peterson's pipes and Savinelli's and all the other sort of Falcons and other sorts of pipes as well. Now, if you want to get a pipe from him, you can can do from abroad, and he'll uh, be able to post out abroad. And like I said, Ben Wade's and the Hardcastles are really cracking pipes, and there's some really smart stuff coming through. But he's unable to send tobacco, but he will send the pipes. But I'll show you what I uh, bought while I was there. You get nattering away, and your pipe goes out because you get talking. But that's just that's just how it is. Yeah. So what I bought was some old dark fire. What I'm smoking now, McBurn, which is typical McBurn quality, really good. But I'll show you just out of interest if you're not from the UK. They've done away with now the old tins, which is a real shame because of the amount of uh, health warnings that you've got to have on your tobacco now. So they've done away with that. So now it's like you get it in a little little tub like this, which is the same as how you get a um, Condor Long Cut and a St. Bruno Flake. So they've had to change the actual styles of the um, of the tobacco, you know, of the tins. Well, they aren't tins anymore, they're pouches. But um, I found this quite interesting. I got some Samuel Gar with full Virginia Flake. And they seem to have had a really good idea to get around these um, new laws of having so much uh, health warnings everywhere and these laws are that they come in a box well they've got around the wall they are sending it in a box so you get a perfectly good tin without a single health warning on it only maybe the american one where it says a uh, the state of california is a um, they said that it could cause cancer and your usual sort of stuff. Health warning. So yeah, they've got through it really well by using a box, which I think is a very clever idea. Because, you know, the health warnings are just pointless, aren't they? Everybody knows the, the risks and it's just it's just a personal choice at the end of the day. So yeah, I bought them two tobaccos and I bought some which is get so much stick for this on the UK Pipe Club because um, it's Ennerdale Flake. And I don't know whether you know about Ennerdale Flake, but it smells like, well, I'd say like a lavender, a radox bath. Some people absolutely hate it, you know. It just smells like, oh, the soapiest sort of, I don't know, stuff you could ever imagine. But I, I like it. <laughs> and I get a lot of grief for liking it, but it's, it's, a good, it's a good smoke, you know. It's different, and I feel like something completely different. I'll smoke this. But um, I mean, it's good quality tobacco. It's um, Garwith and Hogarth's t good quality of tobacco, usual quality. But it's just um, it's just that casing. It's like lavender, you know, and it will ghost the pipe forever. So if you were to use this and um, smoke, you know, smoke it in one of your good pipes, it would not be a good pipe forever <laughs> because it's a. Um, because it's just going to ghost forever. So I'll only use my uh, cob for that probably. Maybe dedicate another part. But I, I enjoy um, all varieties of smokes, you know. Not the biggest uh, Oriental Latakia fan. I'm not not the biggest, um, like, uh, aromatic. But I do enjoy the odd one, you know. Like everything else, you know. But my favourites are like the K Kentucky Burleys and Fulton Virginias and Virginia Periques. They're my favourite tobaccos. I like a good strong sort of proper tobacco tasting tobacco that's just uh what i enjoy so um yeah that's what i bought that's my smoking shop i've shown you all around and what have you um it was a fantastic day like i say everybody had such a good laugh and that so um yeah yeah thank you for uh watching my videos thank you for subscribing i haven't posted for a week or so but um i only thought i'd post something when i've got something to say but sometimes you sit there and you think, oh, you know, I'm not going to come on and just jabber for the sake of jabbering, you know. I want something to show you, or I'm sure I will have some just nattering videos. But, yeah, it'll be interesting, so.
McBurn's Old Dark Fired is an absolutely fantastic smoke. So if anybody hasn't tried it, it's a, it's like a classic anyway, so I'm sure everyone's tried it. But if anybody hasn't, try it, it's good. We were talking about it in, as a group the other day, and we were saying it was something like, you could imagine Condor or St. Bruno flake, but without any of the topping, without any flavouring, so it's just a, just a pure tobacco taste. It's lovely. And it's not like the bold Kentucky, you know, where it's a, it just blows your head off. It, it's quite strong, but it's more of a, I'd say, medium to strong, you know. So it's a, it's an art, it's, it's nice. It's a lovely, lovely smoke. So, yeah, um, thanks for listening to me, Natter. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for um, everything. I hope you enjoyed looking at what I did for um, around my smoking shop. And um, I'll just have to say goodbye now and... Uh, Happy smokes, folks.